Morning. Good to see that you keep waking up early. Yeah, I was just about to go for the run. Everything okay? For the most part. <clears throat> I found myself a bit more busy yesterday than I intended. Yeah, I figured. Uh, it's okay. How did, how did you make out without me? Uh, it was terrible, honestly. How so? I just felt so without guidance and alone and just without the wisdom I needed to make it through and... What no. do you want? <laughs> I just missed you, that's all. I appreciate our time together, I but I know well, my point. things are busy. Things have gotten hard as of late, and I'm stretched a little thin. And I would like to spend far more time with you. I will do my best. Huh. I know. I don't blame you at all. Situation and such. Uh, What's on the docket for today? At some point, at some point today, I would like to get my test for your riding lesson out of the way. Okay. May not happen, but there is something we should do later in the afternoon. Okay, yeah. With everything that's going on and all the issues that have been taking place and the advances that Marin has made with this transporter. I think it's time we check in with our friend Marco again. See if there's any new developments with the guards. Fair enough. Come and find me when you want to do that, and I'll be free. Let's make sure you're prepped for it. See if you can get us some health potions. I want a bit of a backdraft. <clears throat> Alright, do you mind if I take it out of the forge fund? I'm a little uh, light. Go ahead. Fantastic. Take what you need. Alright, I'll get on that. Morning, Sorry, Severick. Do my run. Good morning, Dizzy. <clears throat> Good morning, Shriek. Good morning, Severick. Oh, Good. Shriek forgot to tell you that Basil made some food. Mm. She's been nice of her. cooking dinner and such, so she's left some for you. So make sure you eat. She tried to get me to ensure Look that you her. eat, and I told her that there's no way I could make you eat anything. You but... didn't want another black guy, <clears throat> I know. Yes. Anyway. Link up with me when you need me. I'll be around. I beat you, you beat Severin. <clears throat> she rolls downhill, I understand. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you better hope he doesn't way. fucking beat me, you son sense. of a bitch. <laughs> this makes so much more sense <clears throat> now. <laughs> Alright. We'll reconvene in a little bit. Yep. And keep your ear to the ground today. You got it. Right, right, right. I have. Oh. Oh, oh. Aldo, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, do you know oh. here? I haven't seen him. I've only just woken up. Scrawny, isn't he? What do you mean scrawny? I've been oh, really? gaining muscle. You could eat a little more on your life. Hey, hey, you look, you look, you look, it's no, muscle. <laughs> Kinsman, he's an he's an algae. He's always scrawny. I know, but he can at least Do they come in the full color spectrum? Even catch they come in rambles. <laughs> to throw information uh, he could try. Right. He does need a bit more meat on his bones. It's muscle. I'm toned. Nice piece of mutton with you. I keep telling yourself that. Good seeing you again. Right. Yeah. Some respect. Long beard. Long beard. Some respect. Come on, lads. Yep. Came back safe and sound. And. uh... A lot of information to give you once we uh, have the time to talk. By all means, uh, your company can rest in quarters. There's plenty of ale for you. We appreciate it, but unfortunately, we must be on our way. We were only to drop him off. Hmm. I, I, I could at least pay for a bit. Let me let me let you into me stash, huh? We're short on time, I apologize. It is... Thank you, though. It means mm -hmm. you're all wetting your thirst before you relieve yourselves, but I'm not going to get in your way. We wish you the best, Mr. Aldo. Thanks again. Mm. Bye. Take care, all right. Ken. Let's go. <clears throat> if I find myself in this back other hellhole again, I'll find you and that stash of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be looking for you. 
<sighs> oh, well, that was a trip. I can imagine it would be, but you're alive, which is a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't even get into much fighting, even, which was thankful, but we did find some things. So if you want to discuss, we can. Do you want me around for this Should morning? Aye. Understood. <clears throat> would it be best to speak? Would it be best to speak in there or in there so that Tizink can hear when he wakes up? He's been pretty uh, busy. Wherever you guys want. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, let us discuss because I don't know how much we should spread across everyone. Come in here. You can uh, catch me up later then. <clears throat> All right. Is this the end of my contract then, uh, Mr. Aldo? Or... Could only yeah, assume I so. We'll... I would go probably check you back in with the Mercenaries Guild. Oh, and if you see the uh, Carter, uh, the Carter Guild liaison, just let them know they're cart waiting for them. <clears throat> well, that's some good news, I hope. <clears throat> All according to cake. I think I'm getting used to this.
hold your hand over your head, trying to get oxygen back into your burning lungs after the morning's run. <sighs> Stepping past the typical campsite, you can see that there's just a small wash of ashes that the tide is doing its best to wash away the remains of a nearby campfire that undoubtedly either was set by yourself or someone you know, perhaps <clears throat> a peasant just camping out here at the usual spot. The tide rolls in, the rhythmic sounds of the shore, and your mind feels clear. Here we go. seen Marcus yet. <sighs> Breath heaves, your legs ache as you finally come to a jog, a walk, and then finally a stop after the morning's run. The physical exertion is a point of focus. It brings clarity to the otherwise remaining residual cobwebs of sleep. But then lately, sleep hasn't necessarily been a blissful series of cobwebs. Not always. Whether it's pain from the previous night's exertions or these strange dreams. Whatever they are or whatever they mean, you splash your face with ocean water to cool off and try to and try to clear your head. But there's something lingering there something lingering just in the back like an itch that needs to be scratched you look out over the horizon and it intrudes just at the edge of your consciousness you see the horizon and another and another and another and another and another and another countless horizons shake your head and it's gone nothing there 
you know you're not in a dream. The physical pain continues to intrude, your lungs burn, your legs ache, and it's something to focus on. Good morning. Just like what's in front of you now. Keep it you down. wave to Marcus. He bids you good morning, and somewhere in the back of your mind, rather than an itch, you know there is something else. Eleven? No. Ten. Ten days left. Ten days left until it will be decided. Eyes on the prize. Hands on the weapon. Better get to work. <clears throat> Your numbers are smaller than usual today. It's all about con it's all about <coughs> sorry. It's all about consistency. Sorry. I was a uh, car backloading. Cubs just backloading. A dozen strudels. Yeah, baked goods. You get a lot of that <coughs> on the early start before you work out. Oh shoot, it's called backloading, so it's after you. Never mind. You're front oh, loading. You? Good, I just got back from mine. Yeah, front loading. You see him take off weights of oh, sand. Damn. Wanna go for one more lap? <sighs> Fuck no. I barely made it through this one. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, though. Oh, do you need me to help you with training today? Uh, I might be a little busy, but if I'm not, I'll come and find you. How about that? Sure. Be a stranger, right? Thanks, Marcus. Good luck. Let's get to work. <clears throat> oh my god. It's gonna be the loudest civitar ever.
Miss Cassidy, good morning. Good morning. How did you go on your uh, excursions? Uh, I actually got went pretty well. Uh, here, let me close up real quick. I got it in at my house. I didn't want to keep it out here. Very smart. After you. Yes. What do you watch as uh, uh, another loaf is taken out of the oven by RM? This one is not quite perfect. That's why this one is here. But... Very much. If I recall, this is a one tier three, tier three antidote. Thank you very much, and I believe I owe you. What is it? Three silver. Ah uh, yes. Of course. How did you go on the other things? Uh, well, I tried asking about the about any type of poisons, but I. I have not come into any sort of contact with, with different type of poisons, but eh, I gave him something to like look forward to in the future. So. Very good. So then I was trying to look into more something in there in the future. Okay, I will uh, check in with you every couple of days. Mm. If you come up with anything, then. Mm. Okay. And you said that you also needed, like, rope or something? Uh, grappling hooks, ideally, okay, yeah. rope, uh, uh, smoke bombs, mm -hmm. flash powder, any of that sort of thing. Okay, not sure. Okay. Not sure about the flash powder. Um, but, um, I will be heading out, uh, we'll be gone for a couple of days. But on uh, my travels, I will try to look for anything like rope and stuff like that. Fantastic. When I uh, see you again, I will... That would be a little bit more that. easy for me to get. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Miss Cassidy. A pleasure. Mm, of course. Don't do this to me. Gerbum, I need your taste buds. Where do you say? Markle, I need your taste buds. This one, but oh my goodness! <laughs> Life just throws spoons at you sometimes, you know, takes them away, all that shit. What? And you have a knife too. <laughs> Got any more? You got a fork on you? Oh my God! Are you are you getting so many iron supplies going dry? Me from the arena, it was awful. They were throwing all kinds of stuff. They had weapons and.
morning, Guardsman. Good morning. Two silver and ten copper is how much I would have to sell it for. Hmm. Okay. And that is like the lowest I can sell it. Treat. Would that be market value or would that just be. Uh, Dredge is value? looking to get some repairs on That's some knives and I bought some food and put it in the kitchen. Very good. Uh, I bought six and units of food. Any lower, then it's Understood. Just basically me not Thank you, Severy. No problem. All right. Does two silver sound good for you then? Two silver, absolutely. All right. I'll go and grab those from the house, and I'll bring them over to the infirmary. All right. I'll wait at the infirmary. Thank you again. Oh, did you also get that wood in? Yes, I did. Good. I'll swing by in a minute and pick that up then. Morning, Soma. <laughs> Morning. Morning, Cassidy. Mind if I talk to you, Soma? <clears throat> Morning. Um, yeah, sure. Want to follow me back up to the infirmary? Sure, if I'm allowed in. Oh, well, that's something that I'd probably need to talk with you and Tazim about. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I've got a lot to tell Tazim about, but... He's been that, very busy. That uh, can be settled once we're inside. Sure. Yeah, now I can tell. Passed on by him, and he immediately started working in the forge. Yeah, he's been... And not only that, I've been busy myself. Yeah, I've been busy myself. Some of the guardsmen from the keep came right on Preparing by. Preparing knives? And, uh... A moment. Yeah. Chip, this one on needs to be repaired. Ready? Understood. How much will that be when I, uh, get it back? Well... If you want, I can use, uh, some of the materials from your bucket and lessen the cost a bit. But it would be... Sure. Okay, in that case... Say two silver for a full repair. I could pay that now. Fantastic. Thank you, Dredge. It'll be done uh, tomorrow morning. Grazie. Put it on the sheet now. Chip the tip off playing uh, five finger fillet with Tang. Ah, uh, we've all been there. Did you hit him? I hit him. That's why it broke. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> Dredge. Yep, I'll, uh... I would, would just go right through the metal. Like all, all the other metals I've punched holes through with weapons. No, he's a special case. Mm. Alright, I gotta catch up with Soma. Have a great day if I don't see you. Go. I mean, both are pretty effective. It's, it's, I do, I will say the ones are a bit more light. Uh, from what I see, uh, today we're heading out onto the same exact, uh, town, uh, Corona, I believe, in order to try and, uh, get running up to that shit. You mean Corona? Ah, I see, I see. Corona, Corona, fuck. I think Corona I is something fucking... else. No, Corona is something else. Hey, Corona, Macarena. Corona is the fucking... <laughs> Jesus. Christ. But you, yeah, no, I'm trying to get that that being brought back up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm going to be on the hunt for more of those, actually, because I'm having a large supply of sanitizers from Mako being mm. sent to you. I believe tomorrow or the okay. next day after it'll come right on in. But then after that, I should be able to have a lot of still stitching after. It should be fine. But either way, oh, thank you for the if business. If you want, uh... Yeah, no problem. If you want, uh... Cassidy is heading out of town for the next few days, so maybe she could pick up some more for you while she's gone. I've already asked her. Literally, first thing in the morning. <laughs> Alright, well, that covers that then. Well, it's no problem. I'll keep an ear out if I happen to hear any more about any more cloth or anything like that. 
No problem. Thank you, thank you. If anything, I'll just turn heed to the tailor, to Miss Martin. Mm. Yeah, no problem. All right, well, I'm going to guess you're going to be busy, so I'll let you get to work then. Business-wise, yes. You take good care of yourself. <laughs> Don't intend to go and get myself killed today. What? No, no, what no. What do you want? I'm coming to say I doesn't... I also delivered, um, uh, Markle's thing to him. Okay. Can you take this and put it in the pile with the other yes. ones? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Right. They look like swords to him. Bring that, bring that right on back up to him. <laughs> Gods, I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> so, what did you want to talk about? Mind if we go in? It's kind of... Well, you'll probably want to be private. Not here. There's a good reason for that. Do you know somewhere else? Oh, uh, well, I mean... We can go out there, which I'm trying to practice on the sword play that Pelican's putting me on to. Or somewhere else that you feel is as, as comfortable as anything. Let's, uh... Let's come to my house. If that's okay. That's fine, that's fine. Nothing's really going on thus far. You say that. Oh, oh fuck, you're right. I hope I didn't jinx that shit. <clears throat> God damn it. Why do I need to keep my fucking mouth shut sometimes? Everyone you fight has also gone through almost the same amount of shit. Wait, do you remember where there was like rubble and shit all over these roads and now there's not? I've only just noticed that. Looks a lot cleaner. Really? You're welcome. Man, if I could meet the person who did that, I'd be very happy to meet them. Hmm. Severick, hold my calls. I haven't seen them. Hmm. We need to begin our counter offensive. Holy shit. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Get yeah, it's just eaten. Using my house for a secret meeting still. <clears throat> well, we came in to try and see if we could speak with yourself and your father. You're not going to like the news I've received. Well, it seems been pretty yes, busy, but I can listen in. <clears throat> he also needs to speak with Tizim and yourself in regards to what I spoke to you about that he relayed <clears throat> to me. Yeah, I was gonna have a conversation with him, but... Well. well, I mean, it seems like we all have a common cause of conversation. Do hey, you remember so when we were on the deep roads, Kyla? The things I told you to watch for in the dark, the nameless. Yes. Sounded more like ghost stories than an actual thing. Our hold fell to them. My condolences. What? I think there, there were survivors. survivors. There were survivors. Well, that was at the... Mm hmm. That was at the cost of, uh, someone, uh, collapsing the keep with all of them in it. God. At first I thought it was the Raki. They came from holes beneath the surface and sank the city. Sounds like their MO. They had no they time to react. It. Yes. Mm. Many, there were large holes, holes but... but... Yeah. Sorry, you go. Oh, you're the one who saw it. Explain it to them. <sighs> In the very center of the hold, there was a giant hole that had swallowed up some of the buildings. So, I don't know if it was exactly that that did it, but they crawled out of there and attacked everybody in a surprise. They had no time to prepare. 
in a last ditch effort, uh, one of them gathered everybody into a keep, or most of the fighters and such, to distract them and get them all gathered up, and then all the miners collapsed the fortress down on top of them. And after that, that's when the attacks stopped and the survivors were just holding out until we arrived the other, uh, not too long ago. I thought it was the racket to start, but the, the survivors from the word of mouth of himself and him both they... claim that they were not the Raki. There was something else, something quicker, something deadlier, and something that did not leave any corpses behind. Initially, I thought it might have been the shrooms, but they are not known for being fast, given what you had told me. <sighs> yeah, no, they're not. More of a slow meander. So this is a new th thing. My... My thoughts <clears throat> are that these are one of the nameless, one of the things in the deep that we know of that... We, we were never meant to interact with, but apparently... With everything that's been happening, the underground is no longer silent. It is very much in chaos, and things that should never reach the surface have begun to move. The Raki, these shrooms, even the Gamelge, the Drow, and possibly even the shame of our people, will not speak its name. All of which have begun to move, it does not surprise me in the least that the Nameless have been attracted by the Chaos. Makes sense. It is the only thing that comes to my mind that can sink a city and leave it... ...deserted, as you say, said. No bodies other than those of our own. And we spent about three weeks just digging out the survivors that we could find. Where are they now, these survivors? Uh, some of them are still in <coughs> the mountains. They're working to try to reinforce, reinforce and rebuild the hold. Um, I believe some of them are back at the uh, Dwarven Embassy to the west. Does this seem like an attack of opportunity, or do you think this was a pre-planned attack on the hold with reason well the thing is that this must have happened I'm actually this trying to think of when we arrived happened. That's what that's what happened we passed the key arrived. <sighs> when the doors were sealed the reason we heard no response Was no one to respond. It was already over by the time we arrived. And that's not all. If this is indeed what attacked us, I am led to believe that those holds that we lost contact with more than likely met the same fate. Either the Raki, these shrooms, or heaven forbid, the nameless. Beasts. Makes me wonder though why uh I wonder if the orcs are dealing with the same thing on their side. I don't know. From what I can gather, at least from what I can understand, there is a war going on in the undercroft. The <laughs> deep roads Coming themselves up. are more than likely swarming infested with the beasts the Raki, the Ur Uruks something of note though for you and your father it seems the High King shares a belief of mine he sent a contingency to the far east if the rumours are to be believed hey <clears throat> this is about the Eastern Holds, then. Well, the fact that they know the Far East, that would be correct. My suspicion... Now, take this with a grain of salt, as I've explained to these two Dawei here. My suspicion... 
is that the Dawi of the East were able to survive the bombardment. Some of them, at least. That was if anyone years ago, decades. The mountain. Exactly. <clears throat> the Dawi of the East were very intelligent, more so than most. I explained this to you already. If anyone could survive a bombardment of a month of constant bombardment from the outside, it would be them. And they would likely not reveal themselves to any other outside source. If they did survive, and that's a big if, It does, however, lend credence to the idea that your father has. If any of them do survive, if they truly do exist beneath the mountains, our plan may have more credit than I thought. Hmm. Again, this is merely speculation. We have no proof. There's uh, rumours from the High King sending his men to the Far East. But... I feel that if that is indeed the case, and if it is true, that if I were to join your father in the East, as I intend, I do not feel that we would be opposed. Interesting. If the king was willing to send out an expedition like that, he's either desperate or has information that he is confident enough to do that, right? Oh, that's... that's the thing. The High King has been injured. Apparently, the orcs managed to injure him during a defensive operation, and it resulted in the High King receiving an injury. More than likely, he will not be fit for the battlefield. Which is bad for us, because it means the political situation in the kingdom is only going to become a quagmire between the High King and his supporters <coughs> and those of his. There will be conflict within Vern Falderson. Not warring conflict, but a conflict in the political, political. sense. Yeah. Factions mm. will arise for those wishing for the sons to take the place of the king, those that will be hardliners that will defend the king throughout. It is going to become very difficult for us to gain support from the kingdom itself. Do you remember what those uh, those two clans I mentioned? If who they sided with? The High Hammer. <sighs> the High Hammer more than likely sided with the royal family. It is my belief that any any clan that bears the hammer within its name is in some way related to the royal family itself. More than likely, they were hardliners, defenders of the king himself. The other clans I could not say. Yeah, because I'm not too familiar with Bogsbane. Everything you've just heard here, Smith, or not Smith, Surgeon, does not leave this room. What you think I've been doing? I mean, if anything, I suck at this. Literal sense. Because if any of my kinsmen find out that I informed any of you of this, not only will my head hit the floor, so will all of yours. Stays here. 
Oh, I understand that. I only inf I inform you because the two of you are attempting to deal with things that are far outside my reach, for example. But we're all in this to try and find a solution together, and I do not feel that the information should be kept from you at this time, especially given what we seek to gain. Hmm. I believe it is still possible for us to rally support if I were to send part of our clan back to the holds with my son. Along with the survivors of my hold, <clears throat> it would be possible to rally support those that would be willing to head to the far east to assist this. If we were to find survivors of the eastern holds themselves as well, it would only begin a building. Especially with the build, supposed technology, you'd be able to rebuild really quick, right? Hmm. The real question is whether or not the Eastern Dawi would receive us. Oh. This was years ago. Years ago that the Yungi <coughs> all but eradicated their holds. Dropped the mountain itself upon them. If they have secluded themselves like I believe they may have, due to their own... <coughs> It is highly unlikely they'd be willing to receive us. But if we give them an opening to get back at these Imperials, surely they would salivate at that. Not only that, if I make enough of a ruckus bearing the name of my wife, any that remained that supported my, my wife's family may be inclined to hear our words. At the very least. Mm. This is my belief, and this is my hope, that what I believe is right. I'm hoping to Gerdar that I am right. Some of the Eastern Dawi did manage to pull off the miraculous. If any could, it would be them. I was hoping. That aside, we still have the issues of the orcs, these shrooms, and the squabbling <coughs> never ends within the keep. We yeah. really need to find a way to stop the squabble. One thing at a time. We also need to gather... Well, unfortunately, we are running out of time. Yeah. I was told the other day that they encountered a Beastmaster amongst the Orcs. Yeah, apparently they were dealing with Orcs. Any further. <sighs> That's my fear. If we allow them to develop further, it is only a matter, it's only a matter of time before they actually have mounted cavalry. At which point, even the cavalry, you and your... Oh. Tell me, have you ever encountered a cavalry beast that can attack you as well as a rider? No more Other than, than a horse, obviously. It can... A horse can buck and it can... Well, but it doesn't have a maw. It doesn't have claws. It can't leap and move. In such a way as the wargs can. Orcs are predators by nature. With an orc beast riding it, it would only become even more of a killing machine. If they are allowed to gain that amongst the ranks, we will not be able to stop them, even with walls. Once we hear back from the rangers, we can work on our operations to disrupt their expansion. In regards to that, the rangers are currently trying to deal with one of the four generals. We need to try and see what we can do about the Sertelo camp. And try to protect their cam caravan and get ourselves in good. Agreed. We need to seem to be aware of this because we need them to stay where they are. Yep. Because if they leave, there is no more defense to the north. I had a thought that 
forest to the north. The one that we thought we would have to leave because we do not have the manpower to handle. This is a dangerous one. Which is why I want to speak to Tizim before I even think about bringing this to Viserin. Bring it up with Tizim, If we're to reach the ear... If we're to reach the ear of those who inhabit that area, the one that we believe inhabits that area, they may be able to do something about the orcs in that area. Otherwise, they may find themselves revealed. It's a possibility, but it's not something I want to bring to Viserin directly. <clears throat> not without speaking with Tazim. Right. We well. also have to worry about the mines. We can't let them have that. That forge is apparently getting built at quite the speed. Yeah. Before we get too bogged down with that, though, I do need to have a conversation with Soma, if that's okay. Yes. By all means. Hmm. I have talked your ear off enough. I will continue to wait for this even for the moment. <clears throat> I also have his armor ready, which I need him to be here for. Ah. Uh. As far as uh, Gregorian and I, I'm assuming, uh, don't be spreading anything that we did. We just went on a mission on your orders, and that's all. You we went to help our people, and that's all they need to know. Hmm. Understood. All right. Oh. Good to see you, Aldo. Hmm. Good to see you again. Oh, how's that, uh... How's that, uh, grip working? Fantastic. Killed many orcs with it. Hmm. Glad Make it's sure holding you up. Get yourself and Aldo some of that special ale. <laughs> I've been on a long... You definitely use it. <laughs> you would note... The... On the blade... I... Written in the dwarf runes... Is the words... Griffin's Claw. Hmm. Fancy. Very. Who put the runes on? A uh, dwarven friend of mine. Hmm. Oh, does that mean you finally got that uh, runesmith you were asking for? Well, they're not runes runes. They're more like draw no. dwarven scripts, I should say. They're not like special ah. runes. <clears throat> hmm. Never mind then. Apologies. I remember you asked me to pass that word along. I don't know if anything ended up happening. No words. As far as I can tell from what I heard, all of the craftsmen were brought back to Vernfall to... <clears throat> Which means that they're already prepping for defensing... defenses or Summer. siege. Either way. Alright. Either way. Right. I guess I should get back out there and figure out what's going on. I also have to fix my... My hey, legs feel we need a little to get stiff. Well, they are made out of stone, Aldo. More stiff than usual. <laughs> hey, hey, <up. clears throat> huh. Never been up here before. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> I heard a thing or two. All right. Uh, I don't know if it was a dream or a vision or something, but I heard that you saw something. I was wondering if I could hear what you have to say about that. <sighs> yeah, no, you and everyone else probably would need to hear about this too, which is a Another reason why I wanted to try and give it to Zim as well, alongside with you. Because there's a couple things that I have planned within the back of my mind. And I don't know if Tazim would call me crazy or otherwise, but it has to be done. <laughs> and this is what Morden's also wanting to try and bring up to us. As the sun rises up in the sky in the midday. But... The visions, the nightmare. I need to start back from square one just so that everyone can understand. But before I even get anywhere near that, a lot of crazy things going on in the infirmary. I don't want to get into any political thing like I've said to everyone before a multitude of times, but I try and get as much information as I can and drop it and move on. That's how I keep things secret. And to be forgetful even. 
Yesterday, there was a thing that happened with the Lector, the priest of Selta, the one that came in just a few days ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with He was it. not happy with... He was not happy with many of the Imperials, if not most, if not all of the staff within the infirmary, including the sergeant and the corporal. Both within the, within the security and the head details of the sur of the surgeon standards. Apparently, it had to do with something about a death of a Theosian son. I have no information on this so-called Theosian son whatsoever. But the important part is this: due to this death of said Theosian son. The guidelines and sh restrictions within the infirmary have risen up to the nth degree. He has insisted and has put into accord that any non-humans that were to be treated with any injuries, regardless of anything, and again, any non-humans, are to be written down of their name and description. This could be dangerous. Especially for any of you that get injured and to be brought within the infirmary. <sighs> and this could also mean a lot of dangerous things for Venora. Mm. Because every time I wanted to get into business and talks with her, she's always been in my office. I do not know if they have much information on her but that or not. But the infirmary, likewise, when it comes to namesake and keeping identities, is no longer safe. I'd highly recommend you, Tazim, and many others that we are close by with, as well with how we're working up on this, to not try and get injured as much. Well, one of the only few things that I can say, if anything, for me to come to you to heal. Because outside of the infirmary is okay. <coughs> from what I've been told. I see. Okay, so we'll avoid the infirmary. Try to. Because I'm afraid that if a name or any description like that gets written down, and if some and if some of them, the other newer people that is now in there, and I'm assuming that the Silver Knight that I keep seeing right on down here and there, I keep hearing about him being Lieutenant Volk, that might be a problem. Yeah. He's been so investigating yeah, just people. Try and spread... Try and spread that around to make sure that you are all safe, at the least. Keep it on the down low and just... If any injuries come to arise, I will do my very best to come outside of the infirmary <clears throat> to help any of you. Personally. Thank you, Summer. I'll try and let people no know. Problem. Absolutely. Anyone who is close to us when it comes down to the problems that we are facing and that we are trying to solve. Definitely. As for the nightmares and visions, I need to stop back from square one for what's been happening. As I don't know what you've heard about what I have experienced. Tazim's probably already told you about the incident of the sergeant shooting me with a fucking crossbow bolt. <clears throat> yes. And the event that occurred of what happened with my body after that. Let's just say the my paw is about the size of your chest, yeah. and that's not including the claw. Something happened after that night. I couldn't sleep when she was up there in the keep with him. When I stood up, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't just mount myself onto the keep and try and fucking save her. That would be a death sentence for me and possibly for a lot of it, every one of you. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Couldn't chance it. I just stood up as my paranoia grew. Eventually, when the morning hit, I fell asleep into some sort of nightmare. A cave. Huge. Vast. <sighs> when I fell asleep, everything changed around me. The environment. It all felt real. And... I saw this thing, this amalgamation of corpses, flesh, shrooms, and bodies piled up into this one monstrous abomination. 
and it kept on saying to march. All of a sudden, my eyes were in its point of view. I did not know how he did it, but it ha happened, and in front of me were old friends. Old friends from Ledford, infected, including ones that be burnt, that are still walking. Including one that I am now seeing visions of that, again, no one else is seeing, just like in Adwick. Who is it? If I tell you, you need to promise me that you'll be calm about this, because when I told Wolf about this, she was not happy. I think I already know the answer. It was Tarek. His appearance the first time that I saw him in that nightmare was gruesome. He almost looked normal out of the rest of them. But his arm, it's... His arm almost looked like a two-handed sword, almost as big as his Y. It was not an arm, it was a weapon made of bone. One of my regulars, if you would. I... Next few days that has occurred, I couldn't stop seeing him. And the eyes end up you see when you're Red eyes of crimson blood. I feel so... However, his appearance was different, much more different. His hair grew longer and he didn't have that sword on, although he was drenched. In water. Most recently, he spoke to me through Basil. He says for me to help him. He's trying to find me. He's trying to find us. I don't know if this is real or not. Either it could be that fucking creature trying to get into my mind again as I'm trying to keep myself of a bay with well something's coming and we don't know yet which is why it comes to my attention to doing something I've gained a bit of information when trying to go up to one of the keeps near the province up top when the mercs needed me for an emergency mission it was the same exact path only halfway through it into the forest of which I woke up from after the last encounter with Risa. The same cave of which I woke up and had to walk a long way from during that one morning. Don't know how I fucking did it. It was the same exact thing that what happened in Ledford. After that it stopped. But my only thing is to knowing the path once more, just in case, once we have the time and effort needed to go back and figure more of this shit out to at least get ahead of them. Because every time that this Shroomlung has appeared, Shariq, it... It was always three steps ahead of us. It always knew when to strike, it always knew when to act before us. I know everyone else has their own problem, which is why I think the Shroomlung thing could only come up to me. <sighs> Thanks, Emma. That's all I needed to know. <clears throat> I'm sorry if you have to hear this about with Tarek. I really am. I tried explaining it the best that I could to Wolf, but... She couldn't handle it when I first told her it broke me than me. Yeah. And I keep seeing him. I... I'm gonna be truthful, I don't know when this shit will ever stop. Only by the gods themselves of when this will actually solve by them, solve by their own rights. But if that's all you need to know, then I'll leave you at that. Tazim would need to know about what I am doing as well. As well with mostly the stuff 
stuff happening within the infirmary to keep you all safe. I will do my best. Last thing that I want is for any of you to get exposed. Thanks, Soma. No problem. For another topic, to get away from all that, I was actually wanting to come up and ask you someday later on in the day today when you were not busy. The syringe. You find the sketches are doing all right? We're supposed to be making it, right? <clears throat> yes, with the materials and all. If needed with the help of materials, then I can, whenever. <sighs> Just waiting for the right opportunity to give you the broken syringe. You have to bring it out with Tazim. Again, that's a precision piece, and I've not seen anything on my sheet or anything, so I have no idea. <clears throat> gotcha. I know that's not what you want to Make hear, sure but... Make sure with that. Yeah, thanks again, Soma. Hey, pay. Sometimes you get like okay. the flashes while you're doing the. This is always a virtue, okay. Shelly. Okay. Okay. Lily, both here. To this. You will see her holding two parts of Amlet. Oh, is that? I can look at her food. Thank you. There's <laughs> two on your plate. One to give to Tazim. The and then this one's for you. Because we said yesterday we were going to cook, but we never had time. <laughs> that smells really nice. Uh, an omelette, yes? Yes, there's uh, egg, cheese, a couple meats, and little peppers oh, that, smells... In. that smells divine. Oh, make sure that I enjoy this, definitely. <clears throat> Good, I'm glad. Thank you. I hope you enjoy yours as well. <laughs> and even if it tastes really good, please have one be for Tazim. I will do my best to leave one for him. <clears throat> no promises, though. But if you end up eating it, I won't be mad. It just means I'll have to make you guys something else. Oh, wouldn't that be so <laughs> terrible. Uh, there was... Hold on, let me... I know, right? <laughs> another, another reason you have to see me. All right, sit around. It's story time, Marco. Yeah. Well, now I want to eat both of them. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Go ahead, Nathan. Enjoy it. Thank you. You are an absolute pleasure. They traveled to the north to try and find land of their own. However. Gotta take a second chat.
What the fuck? Excuse me? Factory death. Okay, sure. Yeah, no. So, what? in comparison, Gradia looks like a peaceful paradise. Does she turn into a bear when she gets Hello, Shriek. Mud? A bear. I've been told by not only herself but another man that she does. And I just I was just told. Holy shit, is that fucking Aldo? It is. Holy shit. I haven't seen him in forever. He's my favorite woodworker. Bear? I was a bear once. They hit me with a cart, a wooden cart. That makes me oh, angry. Oh, you couldn't bear it. No, just calm down. Bear? Oh, calm, calm you were a bear once. Bear, it. bear? I was a bear once. They hit me with a cart. Please, no. <clears> the <throat> wooden cart. I can't Shut bear the that. fuck up. We, all right, we get it. Marco, at the repetition of this phrase, you can feel an itch in the back of your mind. A creeping insanity and madness that you the know you can't give to rise to, lest it spiral out of control. Uh, start to finish. But bear? You know she was a bear know. once. Shit! Stop! Shuri. Shh. 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 How many years mm -hmm. worth of history, if it's true? Oh, there's a wall here.
Ugh. Sevatar. You have committed a grave sin in the eyes of the Empire and in the eyes of Sota. Did he do? What you see before you is a murderer. Kills a man in cold blood in this very clinic, a place of healing. A place of security. But Amon Zeke, a son of Theosia and a son of Sotar, has come before you all to confess his sincere repentance. Confess your sins to them, my boy. Tell them what you have done. Not hear you. Speak. I would be trying to cover it in case something flawed in the scene before. What's happening? I don't have a dagger through a murderer's throat. Okay. Yeah? The Imperials seem to want to make an example of him for what he has done. Through a sergeant of the Empire, while he was bound. A murder? What is he blood. But we, the people of the Empire, offer forgiveness. Do you, Amon Ziegler, repent of your sins? Do you acknowledge your crimes? I acknowledge what I did. <laughs> Very good. As you can see, all crimes may be forgiven in the holy flame so long as they are bore witness and given sincerely. You may kiss the ring upon my finger, Amon Ziegler to receive the blessing of Sotar and to be freed of the sin that has come to shackle your soul after your cold-blooded murder of the Sergeant Hammond. Reach forth you with your Hammond? lips, my boy, and <clears throat> with your repentance. The sin is forgiven. Rise, Ziegler, a murderer no more. An honest man in the eyes of this city, in the murderer? eyes of the Empire, in the eyes of Sotar. He killed someone? Sotar, praise is thee. This a, is this punishment? Sotar, bless us. Did I let him get tortured or His are weird. I, I thought he was going to get hurt. That was it? Oh my, it's more like uh, <coughs> I don't really know the story, so we don't really know. Who did he kill? I guess I rang him your first He said he's a murderer. I don't know. Probably nothing to worry about. I think it has something to do with the murder ranks. He just said he murdered someone. 
your group witness is no has to deal with imperial business. Not then you hear him? He's forgiven for murder. He didn't do murder now. He's got forgiven. But he killed someone. I don't think that's how that works. I don't really know. No, I don't like that. If you have a problem with it, then go and talk to the imps. See what they say about it. I don't give a fuck about the imps. They can stay in their embassy. I don't want some murderer walking around. He said he murdered someone. I think this is what they mean by punishment, letting everyone know of his dirty laundry. I'm sure this is only step one. Most definitely. Are you threatening? I didn't know that the magazine was that, at least I now understand why that was. Well, at least he doesn't have to patch him up. Perfect timing. If that man murdered I don't even know who he murdered. It's not something they can forget. Wouldn't assume that. Now with what just happened, anything could happen at this point, but it's my own personal thinking. I don't know what the young man... I need to check up with the corporal to see if everything is actually alright with him and find me after. Maybe. If that may even be a good thing to actually have be done. You can pay me more later. Ah. I personally Other thought they were calling you because they were going to whip him in the street. Spouting their yeah. They wouldn't want to call me for that for anything, to be quite honest. It's reason? I would think they were probably giving him a kindness for his title. I'm murdering someone? Nope. No, it, <laughs> he was getting whipped in the street for you to treat him afterwards. You know, yeah, because of his title, but I don't think that's why they did what they did. Would you like to talk with me? Sure. Well, I'll figure out where that noble is. Teach you a few things. If you're not with them, oh. Oh, that sounds really nice. No, I don't have my sword, it's still being cleaned up though.